I've spent the last year trying to build a better life. A life more attuned to my core values and beliefs. A life that honors me in all the ways I should have been honoring myself all along. I could share a laundry list of things that got in the way of that, but they all root back to the idea that I needed to love exactly who I was in order to claim that I was authentic. It left no room for growth, no room for vision. It left no room for the potential of what I could be, and instead left me trying to love every detail about who I was right then. Social media intensified that. People showed up perfectly online. Instagram allowed you to design everything. Set a scene, add filters, build an image. Hugely important things to the human experience because we're visual creatures. Much of our reality is built by what we see. I tried to fit in, but I couldn't keep up. It made me feel like a social failure. So I built an aversion towards anything staged, prepared, or composed. It's undoubtedly burned me as a creator because I stopped editing my work. I was afraid that editing would make my message no longer authentic. Until I started making YouTube videos. There's so much more potential to build a better story through video than words alone, because it's not just words on a page anymore. It's the way you say them, the music, the footage. These are all facets that you can utilize to design a better story. A story that can come to life. The difference between fake Instagram highlight reels and authentic filmmaking is intention. The intention of delivering a feeling, of evoking emotion, of telling a story worth sharing. Good art makes you feel something. Real art will always be genuine. So I'm acknowledging all my creative potential. And I'm going to tell stories worth sharing. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week.